Music's biggest night has come and gone, but it left us with some of the biggest tear-jerking, knee-slapping, and all-around unforgettable memories to date, and we're breaking it all down right now. Today's episode of Newsfeed is brought to you by Lucky Charms. Need a boost of luck? Lucky for you, they're full of Lucky Charms. From Adele's big wins to Beyonce's growing humans gracing the Grammy stage, We've got a lot to discuss, so hang tight and try not to tear up. Not only are the Grammys a night to showcase music's biggest accomplishments, but the award show is also filled to the brim with the latest and greatest fashion. From stunning gowns to barely there ensembles, we really saw it all tonight. And when I say we saw it all, we really saw it all, especially when dynamic duo group 21 Pilots took the stage to accept their first Grammy for best pop duo and clearly decided on a clothing optional fee. As if there ever needs to be a reason for wearing pants, the guys did explain why they stripped down during their speech, saying that before they were making music, they were watching the Grammys at Tyler's rental house when they noticed that none of them were wearing pants and that if they ever were to win a Grammy, they'd accept it in true stripped down style. And we were no one at that time. He turned to me and he said, you know, if we ever go to the Grammys, if we ever win a Grammy, we should receive it just like this. So watch out, okay? Because anyone from anywhere can do anything. And this is that. And what an odd coincidence it was when Grammy host James Corden clearly got the no pants, no problem memo, as he also flaunted his boxer briefs after the epic acceptance speech. There really is no shock when it comes to Grammy surprises these days. But what did come as quite the shock was Beyonce's highly anticipated Grammy performance that managed to leave us all in a state of pure, heavenly, God-sent bliss. Especially after debuting her twin pregnancy glow for the first time in the flesh. If you need a moment to take all of that in, totally cool. But real quick, Beyonce, we're gonna let you finish, but your girl Blue Ivy had the best carpool karaoke debut of all time. James gave the audience a special edition of his hit carpool karaoke series when he packed in as many of music's biggest names as he could into his makeshift car. But we were suddenly graced with the presence of Queen Bee's first in line heir to the throne, Blue Ivy Carter. <laughs> We are not worthy, but clearly neither was JLo when watching Bruno Mars perform his newest single, That's What I Like, as she got real into it. When halfway through his performance, he soulfully sang to the audience asking, Can I break it down? And Jenny from the block was clearly all for it. Can I break it down? Can I break it down? Can't argue with that. And Adele had quite the night at the Grammys this year. Not only did she take home a couple shiny gramophones and slayed the show by opening with one of her biggest hits, she totally did George Michael justice when she performed an incredible rendition of his song, Fast Love. Although the singer had a little mishap when she first started out with the performance, she managed to make a huge comeback after she asked for a redo. And that's how you deal with an audio problem. Next up on our list is none other than Lady Gaga. You didn't think we'd leave the queen of shock and awe off our list of best moments, did you? The Million Reasons singer teamed up with Metallica for one heck of a performance this year. But the thing that made that performance super memorable was her wild stage dive. When performing with heavy metal, do as heavy metal would do, right? Now you might want to grab the tissue box for this next one because it's a doozy. When Adele was named as the winner of both Record of the Year and Album of the Year, all she could literally do was thank Beyonce. Her acceptance speeches made us all feel all the feels and it was the best thing ever. The first time she thanked Beyonce, it pretty much made everyone laugh. My idol is Queen Bee and I adore you and I am... Um... You move my 
my soul every single day, and you have done for nearly 17 years. I adore you, and I want you to be my mummy, all right? But the second time she thanked Queen Bee, we all lost it. Even Beyonce herself lost it. You, you are a light. And the way that you make me and my friends feel, the way you make my black friends feel is empowering. And See what I mean about all the feels? That went from happy to sad real quick. However, we're not going to end this on a sad note. We are going to end this night on a more funny note, which brings us to Rihanna. The singer was caught enjoying the contents of her bedazzled flask in the audience, and she didn't even care who saw her. If you take a closer look, it looks like she's telling her BFF, Melissa Ford, that it's time to take a shot, and then she takes a swig from her shiny flask. Ah, classic Riri. So what were some of your favorite moments from the night? Let me know in the comments section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for hanging out with me right here on Clever News. I'm your host, Sinead DeFries, and I'll see you guys next time. Then you can click to the left for the best dressed celebs of the night and to the right for Katy Perry's incredible performance. Thanks again to Lucky Charms for sponsoring this episode. Everybody could use a boost of luck from time to time. When in doubt, why risk it? They're pretty lucky.